Hi everybody. Today is Friday, April 20th. It's 3 p.m. Um, and uh, my name is Karen and welcome to SSK Yarners Knitting Podcast. Uh, boy, it's hot here today in North Carolina. Who spring? I believe has leaped straight to summer, so it's very warm here today. It was cold this morning, it was about 37 degrees, but it's really warm now. Uh, so let's see, knitting, crocheting, some machine knitting. Um, I share everything fiber related. Uh, so I have uh, quite a bit to show today. Um, and uh, let's get started. I have some amazing hats. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna believe these. Look at this hat. How cute is this? Oh my goodness. Look how cute. I added a pom pom. So cute. So this is called the Mads, Mads hat. Right here. It's by Jody Brown, half of the Grocery Girls Knitting Podcast. Love that podcast, right everybody? She started designing um, patterns and she start, is starting with hats. She has already released one. Uh, this will be her second one. It is not available yet to purchase, but I'm sure it will be soon. So this is actually a test knit. Um, this is the size medium, so it's really for a child, uh, you know, a young, young teenager maybe, uh, maybe from eight to about 14, although I could wear it, it's just a little bit short. And how about that pom-pom? Is that not the best? It needed a pom-pom. Yeah, I just love it. Uh, the yarn is Legacy Fiber Arts, uh, Miss Lily P, and I held it together with a little mohair. So you can see the mohair kind of poking out of there. So what a great idea to hold the two yarns together. Um, I made a second one. Um, Oh, is this beautiful? You know, I had a white pom-pom on it, and I think it's going to look really cute, but I took it off. But I think I'm going to put it back on. I just really, really love the pom-pom. Um, remember, if you're joining me today, uh, be sure to say hi so I can say hello back. Um, but yeah, is this great pattern? Easy knit. Oh my gosh, I knit this hat in a day and a half. So I haven't... Uh, haven't done the middle yet because I, again, I put a pom-pom on and uh, I think I'm going to put the pom-pom back on. But called Mad's Hat. Now, I knit this one with a sock blank, one of my sock blanks. And this is it right here. And I held, uh, it's called Kids Silk, um, Kids Silk Haze is what it's called. It's a mohair. So this turned into this and how gorgeous is that? So many people ask me, I don't know how to use a sock blank. Um, I, you know, I don't knit socks. You don't have to knit socks to use a sock blank. Uh, the best thing about a sock blank is you don't have to wind the yarn. You literally don't have to wind it. So that's really the whole purpose behind a sock blank. Uh, besides creating self-striping yarn, that's how it originally uh, was created. Um, but you can use anything that calls for fingering weight yarn, you can knit with. So, and this is a great example. So what a wonderful uh, way to use a sock blank. So if you have a sock blank and you don't knit socks, uh, you can knit a hat. So I wanted to talk about the pom-pom. Now I make my own pom-poms. People are like, where do you get all your pom-poms from? I make them, they're so, so easy. Uh, what I do is I go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And now is a great time of the year to do that too because a lot of this uh, material, a lot of this fabric is on sale right now because, you know, winter is winding down. You buy a faux fur and you cut it in circles. So here's a pink one. How cute. Here's a brown one. Oh, look at that one. And these are all faux. These aren't real fur. It's all fur, uh, fake fur. And then here's one of that white one. I did a really small one. Um, it'll be cute. Uh, maybe on a baby's hat. It'd be really, really cute. And of course, I'll trim that up. But what I do is I cut circles. The circle I get from anywhere, a bowl, a cup, depending on how large you want it. Uh, but it, it tends to the three by three, two and a half by two and a half, usually makes a really good one. That's the size of this pom-pom. Um, again, I can trim this down so it's not so poofy. Um, so what I do, literally, I cut out the circle. I thread a needle. A nice long sharp needle. I bought some upholstery um, thread so it's nice and tough. I double it and uh, and I just literally go around. So if this is it, I 
literally just stitch around it. I think it's called runner stitch, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm not really a sewer. Um, I should have asked my friend Sharon, who's a, who's a, a big sewer. Uh, and literally, that's what I do. And I go about a quarter of the way, and then I pull it taut. So, for instance, I started this one right here, and I, I'm already halfway through. And then I started. Then what you do, literally, is you pull it, and you pull it real tight. And look, it forms a little ball. You stuff it. You put stuffing in there. And you seal it. And then you have the string to attach it to the hat. Yeah, so um, don't buy pom-poms, make your own. They're super, super easy. So that's just one of my tricks. I just love doing that. Um, oh wow, what else did I finish? So great hats, great pattern, highly recommend it. Uh, when it is um, available uh, in Ravelry, I'll let everybody know. Um, yeah, so what else? I have a crochet project. I'm not just knitting. Um, I'm crocheting. I've been doing a lot of crocheting. So I made a cowl. And if you watched the last episode, you know that I'm getting the Knit Crate uh, subscription. And last month, these were the two patterns, the Chloris and the Tempest Cowl. And this is the one I made. I did not want to do the Pico Edge because I wanted to keep it gender neutral. Uh, because I think the, the colors are really great for a man or a woman um, and it's still wet I'm, I just uh, washed it and I'm blocking it uh, so what a great great project and I think it's going to look really really good all scrunched up around the neck um, really quick project you know crochet seems to go so fast right although I'm not a great crocheter I'm a much better knitter than I am a crocheter um, I always have trouble at the end of the round, right, with that last uh, stitch in crochet. I don't know what it is. I don't know. But I'm certainly not uh, as experienced in crochet, even though I've been doing it uh, twice as long as I have knitting. Oh, wow. What else do I have to talk about? So I wanted to share those pom-pom socks that I made because I finished them. And I looked all over the house for them. Searched everywhere. Couldn't find them. Couldn't find them, and I looked down, I went to pick something up off the floor, and they were on my feet. I've been wearing them. So uh, I finished them, I love them. It's called uh, Pom Pom Socklets. Really, really cute. Again, it's that Knit Crate yarn. I don't know how they do it, I really don't. That coupon is still good, SSK20, if you want to save 20%. Um, I'll put all the links down in the description box. But seriously, cute socks. These are Pearl Soho, free pattern. Um, go on their website. Again, I'll put it in the pull-down menu. Um, gosh, well, I don't know uh, how everybody else's weather is out there, but it has been cold, hot, cold, hot, and now it's hot. So uh, I don't know how it is where you are. So uh, I have a project that I'm thinking about. Um, you know, I was wearing my blue sand cardigan earlier. I live in that cardigan. I absolutely love it. So I said, you know what? I have to make another cardigan, but I don't want to make another blue sand cardigan. So I found a new one. Isn't that cute? It's called Calligraphy by Hannah Fettig. Um, what's great about it, it's either seamless or seams. So uh, it comes in the book Home, Home and Away. So it's Home and Away by Hannah Fettig. Um, yeah, it's, I just love it. Um, I wrote all my little notes on the back. It's DK weight yarn, um, and I'm looking for yarn right now. It calls for yarn that's 181 yards per 50 gram ball. Um, I found this in my stash. I have a lot of it. Uh, Viz Silk. Um, and this is by Elspeth Levold. Uh, the only problem is it's 90% viscose and 10% silk. So it's going to have a beautiful drape, but it's also going to be heavy. So I'm not going to go seamless. I'm going to go, I'm going to seam it. Uh, that way it'll give it a lot more structure, particularly at the shoulders. Um, and I do that a lot when it comes to uh, garments. Uh, but unfortunately, this one is 132 yards per 50 grams. So I may be able to get gauge I may not I have a feeling it might be a little too thin but I'm gonna see anyway um, I have other DK weight but I would really love a red one um, so that hopefully will be my next project the calligraphy cardigan and it's on Ravelry yeah I hope so we'll see and I'm going to be attempting a new up oh, there goes my dog sorry um, 
What's the matter, Bitsy? You'll have to wait a minute, okay? I'm podcasting. So I am going to try my hand at rug punching, not rug hooking, rug punching, because I bought an Oxford punch needle. So I'm going to give this a go. We'll see how this goes. I bought everything I needed. I bought the frame. I bought that cute little pattern. How adorable is that? And then I bought the, uh, the Oxford punch needle. I have a lot of uh, rug yarn that I'm going to use. So hopefully I'll get that started. I'll be able to share with everybody uh, what kind of experience that I like with that. So I wanted to do a special promotion just for my viewers. So this is not going to be advertised anywhere. So please keep it to yourself if you are a viewer. Um, anyone who goes to my site and purchases anything is going to get a free mini. So anything you buy, you get a free mini. I have a whole bunch of them. Now I also have uh, minis in Sparkle. And that's a limited quantity. So um, if you are interested in that, you know, go grab one. So it's sskyarners.etsy.com. Anything you purchase, you'll get a free mini, except for the minis. You can't buy a mini and get one free. It has to be a sock blank or a bag set. So um, go to sskyarners.etsy.com. Please send me a little note that you saw this podcast so I can go ahead and uh, give you that free mini. So uh, I think that's it for today. Uh, so thanks for joining me. Um, again, I'll be.